yesterday we're cutting corn here out of this field, haul it over to the silos and chop it up, blow it up them pipes and uh, feed it next winter or whenever they need it. Now that's the Dolly House there, the tan building and then their son took the farm over and the farmhouse. children going to school, they pay the public and the private school taxes. Yeah. And then their only um, entertainment is the radio and the newspaper, correct? No radios. No radios. Okay. Some might get the newspaper, yeah, for uh, updates in the world, what's going on a little bit. But I don't think they all get that even. So there's a school tax, but then is there an income tax? Yeah, they pay the tax. There's a lot of big businesses. Not, you might not call it big, but there's a lot of Amish have a little factories to make the storage sheds, the little barns. They send them all over the place. There's about four or five of them. Might be 15, 20 guys working there. Here's Amish home. Young couple live here. Just moved here, actually. <coughs> You still have the... <clears throat> hey, come on here. This guy don't want to go that slow. Yeah. Does your horse have a name? Lucky. 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 I like it. Do Amish need their horses or no? Ah, most of them. Yeah, they do. That's the old railroad bridge there. Amtrak train still goes on it. They probably do, yeah. <laughs> but a lot of them <coughs> don't really use them if you pass. You might not have a might not have a battery in there. I didn't see one. Uh, That's just kind of an everyday buggy or cart training cart. They call that. You put horses in there when you get them new horses before they put them in the buggy. Just get them used to things. <coughs> it's easier to train them. You see something they don't like, want to turn around, it don't matter. Just two wheels and it just goes away. It's something like that the Romans used to have, like chariots. Yeah, something like that. Are there different uh, makes and models of buggies? Or are they pretty much standard? Or? Ah, there's different. Yeah, there's buggy shop down the road. There's. <clears throat> All a whole bunch of buggies sitting outside, a lot of different ones. Is there, why but do they, they all have to be gray like this. That's the Amish color, the buggies outside. Why is that they have to all be gray? Well, that's just uh, Amish to show the people the Amish teams going. Our buggies are black outside. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> There's a little airport in there, small, small planes fly out of there to give helicopter rides and get flying lessons there. I think that's where they hold the hot air balloon festival. I'm well, thinking. that's down the other road, yeah, down okay. the other way, the way. This smoke town, yeah. small planes fly out of here.
last winter, I did, uh, last summer, I seen him this year one time. Skydiving. Oh. I don't know what happened. Everybody chickened out or they ain't doing it this summer. <laughs> <clears throat> So well, they weren't Amish that went skydiving. No, no, they don't fly. We oh. don't either. Oh. Nope. <clears throat> we can travel, we can go on train or buses. There's emergency. So many different little caveats. Yeah. So what do they do for entertainment then if it, they don't use radio anymore? Well, young people come together a couple times a week, play volleyball, have singings. Yeah, they come together to get to know each other. There's no uh, <clears throat> arranged marriages. They all. That's why they come together to get to know different people. Here a couple of years ago, there was an Amish boy and a Mennonite girl got to know each other <clears throat> from our church. And he got married. The, he joined our church then. Huh? Then they were Mennonites. But it probably wouldn't have happened the other way around. To go from Mennonite to Amish? Yeah. I never heard that happen. Too much of a difference. Maybe actually like giving up certain things that you're yeah. living. Yeah. Thank you.
I, it could happen if there's somebody be real serious about it. I don't think they'd turn them down, but you'd have to attend the church services for a year or so, and you make sure you know the rules. And now up here is a, at the end of the road here, there's a shed there, or a little bar, barn, pretty big barn actually. That's where they have their church meetings, if it's their turn to have them. No church houses, did you know that? I, I did. Yeah. Everybody takes a turn, it moves around from house to house. Or now have they have a shed. A lot of them have something like that to have it in. Oh my. So they don't have to open up the houses. So there is no Amish churches? Nope. Not the ones I talk about. I like that other one. They have a church. I told you about the Weaver Town Church. They have a building. But that's not Amish. That's nah, that's not Old Order Amish. New Order. Kind of New Order. They drive cars, they trim their beards, but they dress somewhat Amish. Okay. Do they speak German? Pennsylvania Dutch. That's German and English and Dutch together. <laughs> kind of confusing. We do the same thing. They all came from Germany, I guess that's where that comes from. The German. Apparently they're not among us. They speak, it's very important that they speak, they speak German. Yeah, their church services are in German. If they read at church, it's in high German. Then when they go to school, the first thing they learn is English. Talk English. At home they talk Pennsylvania Dutch. Well, it's probably not that, it's just the way they do. I don't, maybe it depends what they're talking about. They might feel that way, but it's just you being paranoid. Yeah. Um, what ages did they learn English? Because I know that there was a certain age group that they had to learn German, but where, you know, a little Pennsylvania Dutch German. Well, at home, they talk Pennsylvania Dutch. You'll learn that young. Then English, a lot of them learn it at home some, but when they go to school, they learn it okay. quicker, uh, more. They, more uh, everything's in English, then they have to learn it. So since they um, only go up to eighth grade, what grade do they actually start at? First. First. They start when they're six and quit when they're 15. Just go to eighth grade, yeah. So about 78 years old is when they have to go to school. 78 years old is when they have to go to school. Yeah, six. Some start at six year old. Yeah. So um, when they uh, run their businesses, do they go to accountants or do they do all their own paperwork? I know they don't use computers, so they, do they well, do things with them? Some of them have a, probably, probably some would have accountants, yeah. but they, uh, around the business most of it do it themselves, but they might have accountants to do all the taxes and so on. Like I said, they don't learn a trade in school, they all learn it from each other. That's probably about, that's a good way to learn it. You know, I worked for a guy for two years to learn to shoe horses. I didn't learn it in school. Change the shoes and the horses. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's another guy that was, worked for this guy before I did, and he went to school to learn it. But he, he started at the wrong end. He didn't know horses. He could make a shoe and all that. But that didn't help much yeah. if he couldn't put it on. <laughs> so he was no good. He spent a lot of money to learn it. Oh man, that, that's 
so true for so many different things. So like when you said there was different horse and buggies, does each buggy like stand for something different or just use for something different? Well, yeah, they have everyday buggies like uh, we call it a pickup like a pickup truck just like this is open back it's a uh, open here too like a just like a pickup and they use them to go to the stores hauling things out of Walmart or wherever you want to go and there's <clears throat> most of the farm most of the Families might have three, four vehicles. A Sunday bug and an everyday bug and a buggy for the boys to learn to drive. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of modern families have like two or three cars. Yeah, yeah. For each occasion. Yeah. A little lucky. Okay, I'll, I'll tie the horse first here. so expensive but now they don't do that as much because land's high price anywhere yeah, yeah. definitely so they're just buying these homes and just work around here there's a lot of jobs around so the, so the farming in the Amish community has it declined a lot a large amount would you say well, I don't know probably years ago there used to be about 75 percent of the farmers now there's just maybe a fourth and a third of them some areas uh, so it's declined quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. But there's a lot more people on the land to can get more, you know, it's getting less so Yeah, more people, less land. Yeah, yeah. Not getting any more of it. So that's unfortunate. How are they doing with the with the houses being built around us? I know there's like a lot of farmland around my area that, and of course his area is getting built with with housing developments and th things like that. Well, they have to get a permit. It's hard to build a house. Okay. I know my brother-in-law. It's been quite a few years ago. Build a house on his own farm, mm. and he had to pay. Uh, cost him thirty thousand before he started for paperwork. But that's. Not all that bad, you know. They want to save the land. If yeah. they can make it too easy, they'll build a house anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, has there been any issues with the government um, and far Amish farmers? Uh, any kind of disputes? I, I think I heard recently about well, some. They, they have. To, they have some regulations along along the creeks, keep the animals out, different things. And yeah, that's government thing. I guess they will be it pretty good. Yeah. So why is it then, I mean, I get it, like some of our, us English are, you know, politics and stuff like that, and men and knights and honors, they try to stay out of that. Is there a reason why they don't, they well, they don't, don't want to vote or anything? They don't want to be hooked up to the world so much. That's why they don't have electricity. They don't want to be hooked up to the grid. Okay. They want to be self-deficient. And that's the same way it is with all the politics. But there's some wood nowadays. 
to go voting. Oh, wow. I not know that. Maybe not all. I don't know how many, but there's some do you know. And they still need to get a driver's license or anything to, and a voter's card to, to prove that they can vote? No, they, okay. they might have to get a picture ID and yeah. a couple things like that, but they don't have driver's license. Oh, wow. You don't need a driver's license to vote. You do need an no. ID. Yeah. Some kind of ID. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Like, I mean, I think the the one thing that people want to know is like, what what makes the Amish tick? Like, why why are they um why did why did why, why did they shun the, the outside are. world? Yeah, yeah. Like, why do they say no to the outside world? What's so wrong about the outside world? Well, I, I don't think it's wrong. It's just they feel it's the what they want to do the way they brought were brought up. Uh, but some believe things a little different. There's something if you might leave and go to the outside world, you might be lost. Mm. Or, as, you know what I mean? Yeah, like once they leave Amish, they're afraid, like they might kind of like lose their minds and well, stuff and forget where they come from. Well, they, yeah. But <clears throat> there's a comfort. I don't think it's really that they believe it's really a wrong thing to do it's just something they like and I don't know right how to say that and there's some of the older people were really strict with that if you leave the church you're no good <laughs> but that changed a little bit a little more uh, easier on that that yeah. used to be years ago yeah interesting yeah yeah I um I ask that because, you know, I think it goes back to Switzerland and the roots, like, they wanted to, um, they wanted to live way, a way that was, um, compatible with the way that, like, their teachings, teachings in the Bible, like Jesus. Yeah. That's, I think that's, like, I probably won't put this in there, but I think that that's, it's f fascinating to me how, like, a group of people could, you know, follow this certain path because of, uh, you know, Jesus and these religious teachings and then here we are modern age and they're still very much the same way that they were you know hundreds of years ago yeah, because yeah. of those same reasons every once in a while there's a group of people that kind of think they're better than anybody else just their ways or no ways you know we don't feel that way we're just people like you and i it's all the same just different way of life I think there is another question I do have. So, okay, I get it, like people think, oh, I can take a picture of the Amish and their faces and stuff and, and they'll like it. And I'm trying to explain to them, no, they don't. Um, so what is the reason behind of uh, pictures? And can Mennonite, do they do family pictures or uh, no? Some do, the old order don't do that much either. They won't post, we're not supposed to post that much for pictures. Well, that's just kind of their rules to have and they want to respect them. Mm. So. Well, how do they get pictures of their faces and on postcards, or do they just have people dress they, up as they, Amish? And there might be a lot of people dressed like Amish. Aha. Uh -huh. And there, there's people that use uh -huh. the Amish name to sell things, too. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. That's not cool. That's, no. That's and that's what I was trying to say. That's fake Amish. Yeah. And that's... Yeah. Yeah. That might not happen too much. But <laughs> you see it occasionally. You can, I can see the difference because I know way they read the original arms, the original Amish look. If you see a fake, it's not quite the same. Right. They don't have mustaches mm -hmm. and they don't trim their beards much mm -hmm. and a couple other things like that. It's, yeah. Now I see some Amish mm -hmm. men with women who have short beards or shape. What's, or you know, sm nice smooth clean face. What's that all about? The Amish? Yeah. But they don't and grow a beard to get married. Oh, okay, so they must not be yeah. married. The young guys don't need that. Gotcha. But that might be their sister or something that they're with that they have a nice smooth face though. Cause yeah, I see yeah. if they're with the young folks, you know, they don't yeah. have to. Okay. They might be some of them 20, 25 years old. Right, gotcha. Before they get married. And then um, the dolls. Like, so does men like now, I, can they have dolls with faces yeah, or no? Yeah. They can. I think the Amish have to. Oh, the dog, the, they have dolls now with faces? I think so. Because I know there's like some family. I know years ago they talked about that. I think it's changed a little bit. That. Yeah, and what? Respect to, respect to what? Like what was? I don't know why they did that. I couldn't.
couldn't figure that out, but I've seen him already too. Because I know, like, I saw handmade dolls of Amish with no faces, and they said something about because it doesn't matter what color or race you are, they just picture the way they want to see the doll. I don't. I, yeah, I think it was I something know. like that, but I forget. Completely. I didn't hear that, but I heard that before. But I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Some wow. things are just hard to understand. That's you won't be able to yeah. figure everything out. Right. Yeah. Well, that's good that they lighten that up. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> I do. I have another question. We um, we uh, did a, a show on hex signs. Uh, it's a PA Dutch thing. They put them on their barns. Do you yeah. know if the Amish do anything like that? <laughs> I just noticed that, actually. And years ago, you've seen that a lot, but not with the plain people, I don't think. Maybe a long time ago, but not that I remember. What but I know what you mean. If you go down the one of the busy roads, like 283 or something, there's some on barns down through there. But you don't see them as much, do you? Oh, uh, really? I, I think less oh. than we used to. Yeah. But I'm noticing them more now, I think, because we did that show. Uh. Yeah, I, I don't know. If what was that all about? It was okay. So, like with hex signs, it says something about like people are like kind of like superstitious. So, like yeah. there was like animals for fun, but it was like superstition. Like if they couldn't conceive a child or something, they put a hex sign as hope and oh, stuff and pray yeah, to yeah. God, and oh, it, was it would give them and also their crops, the crops too. Yeah. But mostly the crops yeah, to raise the crops. It's a superstitious thing. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they. They figured if they put a hex sign up, their crops will grow, and they did. And then um, one of our segments that we did with uh, a guy named Eric Claypool, who does, who makes hex signs, he said that he has a couple who couldn't, were having trouble conceiving. So they said, "Do you mind putting a, you know, hex sign that represents that?" And he said, "No problem." And here they had a child. Huh. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> it was yeah, weird. I don't know about that. It could happen. Yeah. It could be. Uh, yeah. Could be. It was interesting though. They have so many different meanings, and they have yeah. like different traditions. They have like different types of birds that they use on them, and different artists that added their own little touch. So yeah. Yeah, they have yeah. all these different varieties. Yeah, it's so many different things out there. You get to the point if you really be serious, you really are serious. You don't know what's right or wrong, you know, it's yeah. just kind of have you take your own, yeah, do what works, I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, well, I don't really have any other questions, I, I really do appreciate, yeah, you I know, do too, or, yes, yeah. thank you, you have a good day. thank you, you, too. you too, thank you, yeah. Thank you.